Three recent hires made by the Columbus Police Department have all resigned after not being able to complete the police academy. It's been almost a week since 21-year-old Deja Shaw was shot and killed at a rap concert here in West Point. Her killer is still out on the loose, and the West Point Police Department say they've been running into some resistance in their investigation. Ever since the shooting took place this past weekend at the Princess Theater, it's been a big topic of conversation around town here in Columbus. That's right, Steve. This is still an active scene out here at what was formerly known as Bryan Union Hall. You have the West Point Police Department, as well as the Clay County Coroner, still inside trying to collect and gather evidence. Tommy, I'm here outside of the Clay County Sheriff's Department, and it was just hours ago when the suspects were handcuffed and taken into court. It was about this time last night when the emergency crews were called about the shooting on Bugs Ferry Road. Investigators are calling it a rare and tragic accident. Family members say Bennett loved being out in the woods, and that's a fond memory of the teen they'll always keep. Yellow crime tape wavers in the wind as family members walk across the yard where 13-year-old Spencer Bennett Jr. was accidentally shot and killed. Well, you know, it's a shock. You always, you know, it's just a shock when you hear something like that. It, it's just a shock. Bennett's grandfather, James Gillespie, says the teen just returned home from a hunting trip with his cousins. Basically, uh, one of the young men had a rifle, and he was passing it. And to my knowledge right now, it dropped and went off, hit the ground and went off. It's, it's a shock to me, a shock to the community, a shock to everyone. Uh, but... Accident do happen. Knoxville County Sheriff Terry Grassery says Bennett was shot once in his lower torso. And less than 24 hours later, orange markings can still be seen in the grass where the Columbus boy passed away. When I got here, I saw him on the ground. I don't think I want to do it with holding him, but could hold him. And then I know then he would do when they put the cover of his Family members say it'll take time to heal their heart. Really, you never expect somebody that young to go. Especially not like that. It's a hurting thing for anyone, especially to a child, because, you know, they, they just start, life just begun. Those close to Bennett described the teen as a bright kid who had an even brighter future. He started coming to himself, started maturing. He started acting like a young man, so I just hate him now because he gone. He didn't get, he, he get to do everything he wanted to do. He was so young. For his age, he, he appeared to me he was very advanced. You know, he's an advanced kid. I look at him as, you know, if, with just a little love and kindness showing to him, and he could have gone much further. Now, right now, no arrests are expected. Bennett's body has been sent to Pearl for an autopsy. Investigators are still searching for clues and trying to find answers. People at the concert and police did not want to go on camera today. But one thing is for certain, this daily shooting has shaken the West Point community. <laughs> Loud screams of people having fun at a rap concert. But then gunshots rang out. Then chaos and another gunshot. All of this happening at the Bryan Union Hall early Friday morning. At least one person was shot and killed. Lowndes County Coroner Greg Merchant confirmed to WCBI that 21-year-old Deja Shaw of West Point was the victim in this deadly shooting. Witnesses say the 21-year-old was caught in the crossfire. The shooting took place during a rap concert by an up-and-coming rapper out of Memphis, Moneybag Yo. Shortly after the shooting, the rapper took to Twitter to send out his condolences to the person who was shot and killed. Now, what was once a party scene has turned into a crime scene as yellow tape is up all around the building. The West Point Police Department didn't want to go on camera to talk about this deadly shooting, but they did issue a statement saying they've recovered shell casings from at least two different weapons, but it's not clear who started the shooting or why. Now, Clay County Coroner Alvin Carter says Shaw's body is being sent to Pearl for an autopsy. And as of now, no one is in custody. West Point Police are asking anyone with cell phone video to come forward to help with the investigation. Now, contact the West Point Police Department or call the Golden Triangle Crime Stoppers with any tips. 17 year old Markel Jackson made his way into this year's homecoming on the fulfillment of a promise made by one of his classmates. Now, Jackson is diagnosed with sickle cell disease and has been battling many medical problems. But through it all, he says he's continued to push through, and the promise kept by one of his classmates has turned into one of the most memorable moments of his life. 
A crowd of Aberdeen residents and students filled both sides of the street in downtown as they came out to take part in this year's homecoming parade. And inside one of the cars was a friendly and familiar face to many. We was like, Markel? We hadn't, we hadn't been to homecoming since we've been out of school, so Markel on the court, oh, we'll be there. <laughs> Markel Jackson is a special needs student at Aberdeen High School, and he was diagnosed with sickle cell disease at birth. He done had a, a total of 14 strokes at the brain, and, um, you know, which took his ability to swallow and speak. But the remarkable 17-year-old is beating the odds. Family members say there were a few times when doctors said Jackson wasn't even going to make it. You know, there's a lot of things, a lot of stuff that he wants to do, and um, he can't do it. The fact that, you know, he be want to play football, he want to play basketball, and that he can't. I don't think he, let, he lets it get to him. But instead of getting down, Markel continues to push through and keeps a smile on his face. And that smile was on display during the homecoming parade as he escorted junior maid Darstina Thomas. I was trying out last year, but I didn't get it. And I said I was going to choose him, but he didn't know, so it was kind of like a surprise. Thomas says it was important for her to keep her promise to her childhood friend. I was going to keep it. I was going to choose him. I said I was going to choose him, and I was going to choose him. Parade goers waved and took pictures as Jackson and Thomas passed by. Family members say seeing the enthusiastic Jackson in the parade brings a sense of joy throughout this entire community. He's my motivator. I mean, he keeps me going. He's telling everybody and showing everybody that anybody could do things despite their disability. Now tomorrow is the big night for Aberdeen. That's when they'll announce their homecoming queen.